Good afternoon, everybody. Keith here. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. We're gonna give it another shot today. Tried twice already yesterday. Try to get this video out, but uh, something went, something happened, and uh, so we're gonna give it another shot. And I wanted to talk to everybody today about the deceit of the languages that they use against you in uh, various different ways and many different um, uh, publishings and documents or whatnot. And one of the ones that a lot of us are familiar with, and though I don't think that too many of you um, get involved with these things, but I do know that you have... Uh, family, friends, relatives, and whatnot, uh, generally the older generation that's going to be involved in that and in this, and that's uh, your aunts and uncles, um, grandmas, grandparents, granddads, and that's this publisher's clearinghouse. And you see, you get all kinds of these little things in here in your uh, mailings to enter these contests, and I want to start out Everybody's familiar with the uh, four corners rule or the uh, things in a box. And, and we look at this and we see that even though it's not a black thin line all the way around it, there is a thick white border which boxes it. So everything in it really isn't even there. So we'll start out with the first, first thing on it. And again... Another one of those things about languages, first I'll start out, they get you by all the colors. That's a language. Color is a language. Okay? And then they, like I said, they've got it all in a box. And then if you look at the first words up there, it says win free cash, and those aren't words. That's all symbols. They look like capital English lettering, but they're not. Um... The way it's stylized, it's, uh, it's called Dog Latin, and it's not English. It is not concise English. And so then when we look at the rest of it, it goes on to say, enjoy PCH, lucky hearts within that heart there. And then it says, every heart you see means big money. And when you look at that, you see it says, every heart you see wins big money, and then it's got all those fancy little symbols that look like Federal Reserve notes that have no value. And again, it's in all capital letters, so it's not really saying anything. Then it says, scratch off entire silver box. Again, it's not saying anything. It's all capital letters. Okay? And then we look again, and there's, look at that, there's some more symbols. There's a club, a diamond, a spade, and three hearts. And that's uh, within that uh, silver box that you scratched off. You know, you look at that, there's still some silver left on there. But that's a box. They even call it a box, so there's nothing in there either. And it's still a box. And then within that box, yet yeah, there's even another box. You look at it, the white box that tells you the dollar amounts. And it says each heart equals $500. And, of course, that dollar sign's only got one slash. And then it says total equals $1,500. And, again, that dollar sign's only got one slash. And then underneath that box, again, in all capital letters, it says it's fun and free. It's lucky hearts. Then it goes on in upper and lowercase script to say, and I want you to pay real close attention to this because this is the upper and lowercase script that they're using, which is common English. And I need you to pay attention to the way it's written. Scratch, box, above to reveal symbols comma including the three heart and then it's got a heart symbol and then symbols period so it reads scratch box above to reveal symbols including the three heart symbols now if you know about the languages of law when you use that word include it means that you include everything after that and that is all that is included. It excludes everything else. 
So what this is saying is scratch the box, scratch box above to reveal symbols, including the three heart symbols. What that's saying is that each one of these, according to the way I read it, should have three hearts. Each one of these scratch offs should have three hearts, according to the way that's written. So if you people have one of these and it's only got two hearts, let me know. If it's only got one heart, let me know. But everybody has got, got one of these and scratches it off and finds three hearts. It just reaffirms my implication of the way this, this is written. And then it goes on to say, see how much each heart is worth and how much entrants are eligible to win from giveaway. And giveaway is capitalized. The first, first letter G is capitalized. And then there's a double space. And then the number 12656. Six. And it says, winner determined in drawing at giveaway end. Then it says, see other side for how to enter to win. So then when we look, turned it over on the other side, we see two things. First of all, we see that big, thick, white border again, boxing everything. And then we notice everything's black and white. They changed the color language too. Now they're going to get serious. Now we're going to talk. Okay. Now it says win free cash. And again, it's got the enjoy PCH lucky hearts. But again, like I said, it's all black and white. It says how much cash can you win? They're asking you how much cash can you win? Well, that's all they're doing. They're not going to tell you how much cash you can win because on this side, they've already implied how much cash you're going to win right here. If you enter. Okay. And then it says, and then we're going back down to upper and lowercase letters. It says entry instructions, full colon stop. Scratch off the silver box on other side. If you're returning this prize ticket, please sign below. Make sure to also include your official payment. Official payment. Are you paying an official? Let's question this shit, people. And if it's an official payment and you're not paying an official, are you the official? Okay. And then it says, slash, entry, hyphen, order. So now you've made a payment, or now they want you to make a payment and an entry with an order. Now, if you're going to make a payment and an order, <coughs> that goes right along with financial constructions of an instrument. You go to McDonald's and you place an order. They give you your order. You pay them for the order that you gave them. It's the same thing. So when we talk about this Publishers Clearinghouse, remember um, I posted a, uh, 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 a post on my page there about clearinghouses. And a clearinghouse is one of two things. It's either a banking operation that's been assigned um, certain duties through an order and are paid for those duties. They're paid for the performance of those duties upon that order of assignments. Or it's a clearinghouse that's publishing information. And so when I, when, I, when I look at this stuff, I question, are they acting as a publisher's clearinghouse? Or are they acting as a publisher's clearinghouse getting you to assign a financial instrument to somebody as a assignment of performance paid by yourself upon your order and thereby acting as a banking institution who can operate as a trust company. So when your relatives, your aunts and uncles and your grandma, grandmas and grandpas of the older generations are filling this stuff out and their eyes are all googly eyed like they're out of the casino listening to all the ding, ding, ding you know, and watching all the fancy colors, make sure they're not handing over their estate. Make sure they're not assigning estate duties. 
Make sure not make sure they're not giving out private information that they shouldn't be giving out, such as those social security numbers, bank account numbers, credit card numbers. When they make these orders, because that's what an order is. Anytime you see an order, it is a financial instrument. You're creating a financial instrument with an order to perform upon payment. And you're assigning them duties through that order. And so I question this stuff. And then to finish up real quick, it says, um, let's make sure to also include your official payment entry hyphen order form in the reply envelope and mail to arrive by the deadline for your opportunity to, and then again, it, it switches in the mid, mid of, in, at the very end of this text, text it, it switches to all uppercase letters for the win free cash. Then it says prize winner in all capital letters, and then it switches to lower and upper and lowercase lettering again from, and abbreviation, GWY, which I can only assume um, is abbreviation for giveaway, and then it has a coinciding number with the number that we read on the front, 12656. And it says again, switching back to upper, all, all uppercase is guaranteed. Then once again, like I said, everything's in the box. Look there, where they want you to sign, everything's in another box within that box. So then they want you to sign on that line. It says, if returning ticket, please sign below. And then it's got a big X where they want you to sign. And then the line. And then underneath the line, it says your signature. Then, of course, it's got their publisher's clearinghouse. Um, little stuff on the bottom there. It's got their little trademark. And then their publisher. It says PCH, the abbreviation underneath that little uh, symbol. And then publisher's clearinghouse. And then on the other side, you see all the, uh, the barcode. That's unreadable. So pretty much this entire thing is almost unreadable. If you, if you know what the truth is, this doesn't say anything. It doesn't say a fucking thing. All it does is get your goat with all the different languages that you think you know so that you can assign a set of duties for someone else to perform upon an order with a payment for them to do so. So I urge people, understand what they're doing with these things. All of this junk mail, read it before you do anything with it other than throw it away. Period. Understand, it's all fraud. And this, and this is the simple basics. You know, we're losing all kinds of kids in these foster homes because somebody else is administ administrating the estate and that's happening, and we're paying for the sins of our fathers. Our fathers are still, are still committing those sins through unknowing. Help educate them as well. Because when we send our parents, when we send our older generations to these retirement homes, it's the same thing. They're robbing their estate at those retirement homes. Because nobody stepped up and shown, shown how they can manage their own estate. How, how, they can, how, how they can manage their own, quote, debt. Finance. Finance literally means debt. And debt literally means sin. So when you're involved in this financial system, you are, in fact, committing sin. When you take upon a profit, when you take upon a profit in this commercial system, it means you are taking advantage of somebody else's loss. And that is sin. You are taking advantage of somebody instead of helping them prosper and be abundant by sharing what was freely given. Freely giving it to others. Because we're in abundance and there's more to have. But this free win cash shit, it's all fraud. It's there to rip you off. It's, it's there to convince you to help commit sin. Gluttony, greed, 
relying on a future. The entire commercial system relies that we have today. This entire financial commercial system with the foreign exchange trades and everything is all dependent on futures and not the now time. So please, I beg you, if you're going to pay anything, pay attention now. Pay attention now. And remember, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this stuff. I love you guys all. And I only express my peace and my love for everybody. I used to be a very angry guy until I started learning the truth. And the truth is what set me free from my bounds. See, I, I remember watching a movie, uh, Roots. And I remember lying in that movie. The character, uh, Kunta Kinte, speaking to his daughter. They can shackle your body. They can shackle your body. But don't ever let them shackle your mind. Ever. So think about this stuff, people. And remember, again, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. God bless you. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye.